purchase. It's an eyesore. So as you can see, it's a little bit messy. Yeah. And these are JR's tools for his pegboard. It's not arranging it. After that, we'll do this area to make it a little bit crazy in the eyes. laundry area and if some of you guys who's watching this notice that our washer and dryer is not a match it's because this is a second hand from my sister-in-law well they when they move into their new home this washer and dryer came with it but then they have their own one from their previous home so they decided when we moved here, they decided to give this to us instead of us buying a new one. So, it's good and it saved us tons of money buying a new washer and dryer. And uh, we just did some... JR did put some brackets from Ikea so we can hide the tank. And then we just used rope to hang the curtains because we can't find a rod that's with that length. And then I'm going to assemble this five tier metal shelving unit from Target to put on that area also by the curtains and arrange some of the stuff. And also I'm planning to buy a wall art about maybe about laundry and put it at the center here and then I bought this months ago from Dollar Tree and I'm planning to put them here in this area like that okay so let's assemble <laughs> Out of the box, I had a hard time digging it out because it's kind of heavy. So these are the parts. And the instruction. Okay, so hopefully I can do this without JR. Okay, let's do this. Girl power!
<sighs> and if you're wondering why I'm in why I'm doing this in our bedroom is because um, Anya is sleeping and she might wake up she might wake up and see that I'm not here so that's why I'm here yeah so let's do the second one yeah to put this in the laundry area so I finished it but then it didn't turn out the way I wanted because it didn't fit the length of the space it's too wide for the space so I have to do it this way so this is what it will look like yeah I'll make that work because I can't return it anymore, I don't have the receipt, and that's the only size they have. So I bought this from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use it to line the shelves that I assembled. And then this electric tape, I'm going to use it to put like some cross signs or plus signs here in this plain wall before I put uh, any 
like canvas or a wall decor here just to make it look like not that white and so plain so this is also from Dollar Tree so let's go some paper towels and now I'm going to be filling this up and then put some labels on it <music>
this one I just printed out from Google and I just bought this frame from Dollar Tree and yes the dish oh, oh the dryer is running So this one I'm planning to exchange it, exchange this we have like a smaller one outside but I have to clean it first but for now this is what it looks like so thank you guys for watching and hope you guys like our video and give it a thumbs up and see you in our next one bye <laughs>